so you can see how mixing warm and cold water creates movement. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday! Happy Tuesday! And every day is a science day. How is it going? What's your weather like today? It's been raining here today. So, hey Shabna, you are first on and you're always here. Nice to have you back. So today we are going to be preparing birds to help them in the winter. Oh, Alex, I'm so glad you're all set and ready to go. In fact, seeing Alex is ready to go, why don't we go straight to our ingredients list? So if you're not ready, you can get your things ready and then we'll come back and talk about what we're doing today. So today you will need a knife, not a sharp knife, just a blunt knife or a butter knife. You will need a little bit of string. You will need some peanut butter. And if you don't have any peanut butter, regular butter will do, or margarine. You will need a kitchen roll tube and you will need some nuts. Any type of nuts will do. I have lots of different nuts today, but you don't need lots of different nuts. Just any nuts that you might have in your cupboard at home. So go raid your pantry. If you don't have those ingredients ready to go, go grab them now. Seth, Holly and Liam, Blackhouse Bay, you have been here every single episode. It's so nice to have you back. Okay, so hey May, nice to see you. Today we're going to be talking about two things, seeds and birds. Who has a favourite bird? Do you have a favourite bird? What is your favourite bird? Oh, I like lots of birds. Hi Naomi, nice to see you. Naomi, what is your favourite bird? I think my favourite bird is the kia. Who likes the kia as their favourite bird? Riley, I'm so glad you're ready too. We're just going to wait for everybody to get their ingredients and also tell me what their favourite bird is. Does anybody else like the kia as their favourite bird? Hey Krishna, so glad to have you on today. Okay, hi Raywin. So my favourite bird is the kia but I also like Oh, I like lots of different birds, actually. Does anybody else have a favourite bird? I like the kia because it's a smart type of parrot and it's always up to mischief and being naughty. Oh, I think I like that the most. But I like lots of birds. What about a kereru? Has anybody mm. got a kereru? What was that sound then? Mm. Ooh, that's the sound that the kereru makes. Ah, oh, Heidi and her hippos, so nice to see you today. Who has a favourite bird? What other birds are there? There's the fantail, or the pee waka waka. Or, well you have some doves that visit you, Alex and Zach. I love the sound that doves make. They go, <coughs> Hummingbird, says Alex. Hummingbirds, they're amazing because their wings are so fast. Have you seen how fast a hummingbird flies? Tooies! Tooies are amazing too with their white little chin. Wait, we need to get all the things. Okay, we're going to wait for Raywin. Raywin's going to get all of the things. Don't forget, Raywin, you're going to need some nuts, some peanut butter, a kitchen roll tube. Heidi loves the peat waka waka and the rainbow parrots. Oh, I like those too. Oh, we're looking forward to today's science, says Mila. Hi, Mila. Okay, it's going to be a fun one today and a little bit messy, so. Your favourite bird is a tui, Riley. I love tuis too. And a fantail from Chardonnay or a pee waka waka. Okay, is everybody getting their ingredients ready? Now you may get a little bit sticky today. Naomi says a fantail too. Fantails are fun and they're so playful. I really like one. A thrush from Juliet. Good bird. Okay, so today we're going to talk about feeding birds and why we might need to feed birds. So here in Australia and New Zealand, it is winter and because it's winter, I love birds, I can't wait to make it. My favourite bird is a tui, love ivy. Ivy, I love tuis too. And we're going to make something that's going to help feed the birds. Because it's winter, you may have noticed that some of our trees are bare. Oh, Mila, you're making a feeder for your tui. I can't wait to see this. Madison and Felicity, pee waka waka and kereru. Okay, mm. that's cool. I really like a kereru. Every time I say the word kereru, mm. my cameraman makes the sound of a kereru. So if you can hear something in the background, it's not really a kereru. It's the camera guy being silly. Okay, so why are we doing this? Well, you may have noticed, oh, Yona says kia because they're cheeky. That's why they're my favourite too. Okay, um, 
because it's winter, there aren't many berries about. And you can imagine in the spring, all the berries and in the summer come out on the trees. Oscar loves fantails. I love fantails too. And so what we're gonna do is make sure that the birds have enough energy. Now in the winter, it's cold and birds actually spend a lot of their energy just keeping warm at night. And if they spend too much energy trying to keep warm, they don't have enough energy to fly away if a predator comes. So me and my cousins love watching you and my bird is a, is a kra. What I, I think you mean Kia. My favorite word is a Kia, unless you've come up with a new word, but I'm pretty sure you mean Kia. All right, Kia, definitely. That was a good guess from me. So you have doves and mopox. Wow, you're so special. I don't have a mopox because I live in the city. Nana Gill's lab is in Auckland City. Getting all the things. Raywin's still getting all the things. Hurry up, Raywin. We're waiting. We're going to wait for you, Raywin. You let us know when you're ready. But we're going to talk today seagulls, big seagulls, ho hepa. It's a good one. So we're going to talk today about what to feed birds. Now, if you've ever fed ducks, hi Ellie, you may have fed them some bread. But bread isn't actually very good for ducks because birds actually need things that have lots of energy in them. My house is in the bush and we get tuis and fantails and wood pigeons. Wow, Jennifer, that's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is talk about how bread, although it, it fills birds up, bread is mostly carbohydrate. And so it doesn't have that much nutrition in it. Three twoies, says Zenya. That's cool. So what we need to do is help the birds get the nutrition that we need. So feeding them just bread isn't that great. <gasps> Hi, Pro and Heidi, I'm making bird feeders for Weymouth Primary School Garden. I can't wait to see how your bird feeders come out. So today we're going to talk about bread not being great because it doesn't have great nutritional value. Instead, we need to feed birds seeds and some fat. So birds, to get lots of energy, need carbohydrates and fat and some nutrition. And they're going to get those today from seeds. And remember when we talked about seeds, baby trees and baby plants? So what we're going to do today is we're going to take those seeds and we're gonna, if you've got big seeds or big nuts, you're gonna crush them up. So if you've got big things like almonds or walnuts, crush them up so they're smaller. You might wanna take a rolling pin to chop them up. I've got some pretty small seeds here. Okay, Raywin's almost ready. We're waiting for you, Raywin. Let us know how you go. But while we're there, let's put our top camera on and let's take a look at what seeds I have. So I have lots of different types of seeds. I have sunflower seeds. I have pine nuts. I have sesame seeds, which are super tiny. And I have pumpkin seeds, pumpkin, sunflower, pine nuts, and sesame seeds. What type of seeds do you have? So I'm gonna mix all of these seeds up into a nice seed mix. And birds like little seeds. So remember, if you have any nuts that are too big, chop them up or crush them up. Oh, you love the little wax eye. What? is really and the kingfisher oh that is cool i forgot about the wax eye those are one of my favorites too you have one of my boxes piper i'm so excited hopefully you've been building some superpowers of flight with that box okay so i've mixed up all of my seeds chardonnay you made the pinwheel yesterday you should send us a photo so we can have a look Oh, do you know what? So mix up your seeds. We're waiting for Raywin to get their stuff together. While we're waiting for Raywin, I think we should have a look at somebody who sent a, vid a picture in from yesterday. Let's pull this up. So Eva, Lucia and Autumn have been following along every day this week and last week. And yesterday they made pinwheels and they sent us a photo. Look at them in their lab coats and their amazing pinwheels. Don't they look great? Eva, Lucia and Autumn, you are amazing. Thank you so much for doing all of your experiments. And they keep sending me their photos. They've sent me photos of them making plastic out of milk. And they've sent me all the photos every time we do an experiment. And I love seeing your photos, so thank you. And if you want to send us photos, you can do that at info at nanogirllabs.com on our email, or you can send them to our Facebook page and let us know if we can show them on here and we'll show the world your amazing, inventions okay 
So I've mixed up. Okay, Raywin is ready. We are all ready to go. Here we go. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is mix up your nuts and your seeds, making sure that they are nice and small. You can see they're all mixed now. Next, what you want to do is take your string and make it the right length so it goes through your roll and then you can tie it in a knot. Hey, Jerrica and Roy, so good to have you back. Now, the amount you tie this, Evelyn, hi, the amount that you tie this depends on how long you want it to be. So I'm gonna make mine this long. So I've got a little knot there. Cara has pumpkin seed, sesame seeds, and sliced almonds. Oh, you're gonna have some very happy birds. Okay, so next you wanna take your peanut butter or your butter or anything that has a nice fat content. You made the aeroplane and your name is Hudson. Hudson, that is so awesome. Okay, and you're gonna take your peanut butter and you're gonna put it onto your roll. Now this is gonna make a sticky layer. In science, we would call this the adhesive layer or the glue-like layer. And you're gonna put it on your roll and this is gonna help the nuts to stick. Because if I just put the roll onto the nuts, they're not going to stick on there. But because peanut butter is nice and sticky, it's going to help them to stick. And peanut butter actually has a very high fat content because it's made out of nuts, made out of peanuts, surprisingly. Mmm, Fox, Fix and Fog is amazing. Who is writing that on my screen? I think that's my cameraman who wants his peanut butter after we're done. Okay. So we're going to cover it in peanut butter. Be careful not to get it all over your hands because it's very sticky. And because this peanut butter is actually high in fat, this is going to give the birds lots and lots of energy so they can put a fat layer on to keep them warm in the winter, especially when food is scarce. Okay, have you fully covered your roll like this? Have you fully covered your roll? So I now have a peanut butter roll. Now this is the fun bit. You are now gonna roll it all over your plate of seeds. So put it onto the seeds and then give it a squish and roll it around and you should see your peanut butter adhesive layer is causing the seeds to stick. Hey Casey from Bayview School, nice to have you. So I'm gonna put some extra seeds on the gaps that I can see. And we're going to roll it around so it's nice and stuck. How's yours going? Who has lots of sticky seeds stuck? Yummy, says Ivy. Definitely yummy. And this is great and much better than feeding bread to the birds because all of the nutrients in the seeds. Remember we talked about seeds earlier on this week and seeds are packed full of energy and nutrition because they're going to be able to make um, a baby tree or a baby plant eventually and so the birds are gonna love these seeds and I bought my seeds from the supermarket where seeds are plentiful but if you're a bird right now and it's winter there are not many seeds around so if you have some spare ones we can give it to the birds so once you're fully coated all you need to do is find a tree or a hook in your garden preferably something close to your window so you can see, and then pick it up by the string and hang it onto your hook. I've put my little hook here, like that. And then you just leave it for the birds to find. And you should find that the birds are able to get their feet to grab onto the side of the tube or even onto the string, and they can pick off the seeds as and when they like it. And the nice thing is this tube is made out of a cardboard roll. So even if it gets wet and goes a bit soggy, it doesn't matter because it's degradable. And even if it lands on the soil, um, then it doesn't matter because it will actually compost into the soil and you don't have to worry about this falling onto the ground. I missed a comment then. Was there a comment there? I should have. Oh, I have Kerry in my front yard eating berries. Well, maybe you'll have some um, in your front yard eating nuts. I think you mean keraru. Do you mean keraru? It's probably your spell check. Probably doesn't understand the word keraru. So that is your simple bird feeder loaded with lots of nutritional energy 
so that the birds can actually get nice and fat over the winter when food is scarce. And remember, nuts is much better than bread because there's a lot more nutrition in here. Jennifer says, oh, Alex says, we're making a stick for the birds to stand on while they are feeding. Alex, that's a much better idea. So you can definitely make a stick for the birds to um, do. And what you could do is get a stick. I wonder if I've got a popsicle stick left under here. I don't, but if you had a popsicle stick, then you could put the popsicle stick and actually glue it onto the inside of your tube to give the birds a little platform so they can stand on. So I like that, Alex, adapting and making my idea better. That's the way I like you scientists to be. Oh, Rowan, I'm so glad that you got everything together and I think the birds will love this. So once you've got it out, don't forget, keep an eye on it and if you see any birds eating anything on it, maybe you can video it or take a photo and show us and we will share it with everybody. There's a simple bird feeder that you can make using some peanut butter, a tube, and some seeds. And I hope you have lots and lots of fun watching the birds eat this. Let me know if any birds eat them and we'll share them tomorrow when we're gonna make something totally different. So thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy watching your birds. Hopefully they'll get nice and fat over the winter and then I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.